Bad habit number one is getting stuck in this area here. And this area is called no man's land. Because a lot of players aren't sure, do I go to the net position or do I stay at the back of the court? So instead they get in the habit of just standing around this area, which is the worst position you could possibly stand in because you can't volley and you can't easily take it off the back glass. I'm going to show you now by feeling balls to Aaron to show you how tricky it is for someone to return the ball when they're in no man's land. So as you can see, Aaron's caught in two minds. He doesn't know whether to volley, doesn't know whether to let it bounce. A lot of them are on the half volley. It's really awkward. The second bad habit is staring at this ball the entire time you play. When the ball comes to your partner or when your partner is lobbed, you shouldn't just be running back or looking at the ball the whole time. You should be looking at where the opponents are so that you can tell your partner. And also when you get lobbed yourself, you should be running back and not just staring at the ball, but instead, having a quick look at where your opponents are so you know the best shot to play. You can make a much better decision when you're not just staring at this thing the whole time and instead observing where your opponents are, where your partner is and where you are on the court as well. I've got a lot of content on this channel to stop you getting into these bad habits like ball watching, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video. The next bad habit is people have their racket down. I always imagine that if you were in a boxing fight and you had your hands down the whole time, you're gonna get knocked out. But instead, if you have your hands up, you're gonna be able to block the punches. And it's exactly the same with the racket. If you have your racket down, the ball's gonna fly and you're gonna have a very late reaction to it. But if your racket's up ready, you'll be able to block and volley back very, very easily. Now I'm gonna feed balls at Aaron with his racket down and racket up to show you the difference. Good. Yes. Good. The next bad habit is what people do with the high balls. A lot of people don't fully commit to their shot and instead end up just coming back and pushing like so. When instead, they really need to get that discipline and get into a good habit of coming back and really going through the ball with a lot of spin. This is especially true if you're learning a shot like the Bandeka or the Vibora. When it comes to that game, avoid just pushing. Get your feet behind it, wait for that ball to come down and really rip that ball. Because otherwise you'll end up getting in a routine of doing all your training where you practice your good shots and then as soon as you go in the game, you just push everything. This next bad habit particularly affects the overhead shots like the Bandeka and the Smash. You need to make sure you have perfect balance and that you don't jump for it thinking it will give you more power. A lot of people send me videos of their Smash, say, why can't I get more power? Why isn't it kicking as much? And they smash like this. Or the other one is like, the jump is a common one because people think that if they jump, they can get more power. That's not true. You actually lose power because you need solid foundations. The other one where they lose balance is because they've seen the pros doing this to get more kick. And I've obviously said before, arch your back, but they go too far and then they lose all of their balance. And again, they lose power. Okay, this is another bad habit that people get in. They get forced so much to get in the good habit of having their racket up like this, but then they have their racket up high everywhere on the court. I see some players holding their racket up like this from right at the back of the court, whereas I think you should have your racket around here when you're defending, because you should always have lower preparation when you're defending off this back glass. But most of the time, especially when receiving serve, you should be preparing around here. So from the back of the court, you're here, and at the net, you are here. Right, so prepare low now. Good. Well done. Those are my top bad habits. Thanks so much for watching, but make sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video.